With Halo Infinite's gameplay revealed to us, it has shown a lot of new content for us to play around, new weapons and equipment. So in this video, I'm going to give you all the new information that's going to be coming for Halo Infinite, as well as some new weapon functionalities. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary today. We're talking about all the weapons and gadgets that are in Halo Infinite. All the new stuff all the and also all the confirmed content as well. So if you like these kind of analytical videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and let's jump right into it. The first weapon we're going to talk about today is the VK-78 Commando. This is a unique kind of assault rifle we've never seen before. This is a much more slower fire rate, lower magazine count kind of assault rifle. A lot of people have put it to akin to the SCAR-H that you would come across in various other shooters as well, as it does seem to be kind of like a heavy assault rifle with uh, low ammo counts, lower fire rate, and quite the heavy hitter. Now, this weapon, obviously that's about it. We can really talk about it. It does show a magnifying scope of three times on there. Interesting thing. No, it doesn't actually aim down sights like Halo 5 did, but it actually does the classic zoom that we've known and loved from like the battle rifle back in the day. An interesting thing with this screenshot, I would definitely want to point this out that there is lo looks to be a select fire option when it comes to this assault rifle. As you can see, the, the multiple dotted indicator probably indicates that it's going to be a fully auto option and the one dot indicator probably indicates that there's going to be a single fire option and whichever one's lit red indicates to you whichever mode the weapon is in at the moment. What is shown in the demo is that it's fully auto. When you do hover over the weapon before picking up it does mention that it is a fully auto kinetic weapon so maybe that just could be a visual kind of cool addition thing to the game the weapon or it actually could be the ability to select fires within halo infinite we'll have to wait until we actually get our hands on it next weapon showcased here is the sword this is just confirming that it's back in the game we've all pretty much assumed that was going to happen you can't have halo without sword and yeah this does look pretty awesome it does not exactly look like the halo 4 and halo 5 swords which are much more angular and sharp this one looks a little more rounded up it still has some edges to it so i think it might be more akin to the halo 3 and halo reach sword model but it's really great to see this weapon come back i'm very happy for it the next weapon we're going to talk about is the mangler this is a Banish faction weapon that's a high damage revolver weapon that has an eight round revolver to it and then basically it's a high risk high reward kind of weapon where if you lay down a shot the person on the other side is going to definitely regret it uh, we've seen this previously in various toy leaks uh, mainly being held by the banish but we also saw it being held by chief as well so i think overall this is you're going to be seeing this weapon quite a lot throughout the uh, the campaign gameplay the next confirmed weapon i'm sure you're all going to be very happy about that is the BR-55 battle rifle back in Halo Infinite. This is the classic battle rifle that we know from Halo 2 and Halo 3 in Halo Infinite, which does kind of look very similar to what the Halo 5 model of the Halo 2 battle rifle looks like. I will say that the scope on it does look a bit larger, and I wouldn't be surprised if you can maybe uh, change out the scope. This could be more, more of an ACOG kind of look. With the addition of that rail system supporting that scope, it makes me think you might be able to change it out for different kind of scopes depending on what we can play around with, which would be super interesting. Of course, that's all speculation, but at this point, it would be possible, I think, with Halo Infinite. But it's great to see the classic battle rifle rifle back in Halo. Now this next weapon is probably the one I'm most excited about seeing in the reveal trailer and that is the Ravager. This thing looks completely badass. This is a Vanish faction weapon as well and it's percentage on the ammo counter so it's very similar like that but it's actually a burst round launcher technically which is kind of interesting it seems to shoot like a three round burst and it does a lot of damage a little bit of area effect and it just looks absolutely amazing i want to shoot this now when can we play this please tell me the next weapon to showcase is the mk50 sidekick this is definitely going to be a bit of a weaker sidearm to kind of accompany whatever weapon that you're holding i really hope that this doesn't actually replace the magnum there is no confirmation that the magnum is in the game there's been no word if this is the replacement for the magnum again like i said i hope it's not because i feel like for calling back to the old classics you need to bring back that magnum and i think this would be an interesting little sidekick kind of weapon where it'll help uh 
give you a little more variety of like a fast fire rate kind of weapon, much like how the Halo 2 pistol worked. I can imagine being very similar in its functionality right there. And in the screenshot here, you can see it shoots a 10 millimeter round, so a rather small round as well. So again, I, I wouldn't imagine this doing a whole lot of damage, but I think it'd be a, a good weapon in a pinch. Next weapon is the Pulse Carbine. This is an assault rifle that obviously shoots in a pulse and it uh, shoots plasma weaponry. So it would be very good against shields and it has a percentage when it comes to its ammo counter and you can vent it and cool it off much like you could say with the plasma repeater back in Halo Reach or like the cam with the Ravager as well. This looks like a great addition to the game. No word if this actually re replaces the carbine from the game. Uh, I would think it wouldn't because the carbine I think would be much more of a like designated marksman rifle where this is much more of like a kind of burst range, closer range assault rifle. Here we have the CQS-48 combat shotgun, which is pretty much the same thing as the shotgun you've always known when it comes to Halo. It's a 12 gauge and it packs a hell of a punch close range, but this time it actually might sound like it actually will replace the classic combat shotgun that we know and love from the Halo series, as stated by IGN, which I would probably believe them as they might have a little bit more insider information when it comes to the details of Halo Infinite, which to me, personally, I, it kind of lets me down because every shotgun in Halo has had that similar kind of look, even though Halo 4 and 5 definitely changed it up a bit. This is drastically different. This just replaces the classic shotgun. I think we might have a similar situation like we did with Halo 5 and the rocket launcher redesign where we end up just bringing back the classic. And here we have the MA-40 assault rifle. This shares a lot of similarities with the Halo Reach assault rifle, which is the MA-37. They haven't really gotten into details of what the differences are between the two, but from the functionality standpoint, they do seem to be very similar. Though the notable difference from what I've seen between the two is that the MA-40 has a 36 round magazine, while the MA-37 from Halo Reach holds a 32 round magazine. We also first saw this assault rifle in the Discover Hope trailer, and we also saw it as a leak for the Halo Infinite Nerf Gun series as a weapon you can buy for yourself to play around with. Some other confirmed weapons that we didn't get a chance to see first hand but we get to see them in the game was the needler is definitely coming back in it in its classic shape as well i was worried that the nerf version might have been the uh, official version coming in which actually the nerf version does look pretty awesome uh but we also have a confirmation that the plasma pistols are coming back as well they look very much more similar to the classic plasma pistols you may be more familiar with from the uh original trilogy and as i'm sure you obviously could tell from just watching the trailer that the plasma grenades are coming back which i'm glad they are we've had them in every halo I couldn't have a Halo game without them. We do have confirmation now that the Spiker grenades are coming back. This is the first time we've seen them since Halo Reach. So it's gonna be great to play around with those Spiker grenades. Unique gameplay around those for sure. We have a brand new grenade as well being showcased within this gameplay trailer. And it's like a bouncing shock grenade. This is like the one grenade that looks like it just kind of keeps on bouncing and bouncing that it doesn't land, bounce, and then uh, blow up. It seems to kind of continuously keep moving. So it could be one of those cool new gameplay features where if you see a line of enemies, you throw it towards the front and that shock grenade will stun them throughout the way as it will lose its momentum eventually. So it's a very unique kind of style with the physics when it comes to this specific grenade. I'm definitely looking forward to it and we'll see how well it actually plays out in game, but it's pretty exciting exciting to look at for sure. And equipment is returning in Halo Infinite. The first time we've really seen equipment return since Halo 3, which had a bit of its own issues, but let's we'll see how Halo Infinite handles it. We have one is obviously the drop shield, which was shown in the trailer, a one-way defense wall you put up, but not exactly like a bubble shield. I think this is actually will work out a lot better than a bubble shield functionality-wise, because usually when someone throws out a bubble shield in Halo 3, it pretty much like halts the gameplay to a standstill, where a drop wall, you can still to fight a guy as the guy who drops that down. So that actually makes them more vulnerable, but still has the same effect of like changing up the gameplay, which is I think is a great addition. It should be really fun to play around with this in the campaign. And also we have the grapple shot, which is obviously a grapple hook. Saw plenty of that. You can use it as a way to traverse the map and as also as a way to bring yourself closer to an enemy. There's been no confirmation if you can pull enemies towards you though, but uh, it does look like an awesome addition to the sandbox of Halo Infinite. So those are all the confirmed weapons for Halo Infinite. Which one is your favorite and the one that you're looking forward to the most? Leave it in the comment section down below as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. My favorite is definitely got to be the Ravager. That thing looks freaking awesome. Looks like a good combination between like what the incineration cannon is and what like a burst fire weapon is like. It's just, it's crazy. I really want to play around with that. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with all the awesome content and more Halo Infinite information 
information coming your way, guys, as well. Make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now if you missed any content from me recently. So thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.